Welcome to today's video. In actuality, the majority of spiders are perfectly harmless to humans. There are however a few spiders that are highly venomous and aggressive, causing you discomfort and on rare occasions, death. We'll go over the top 10 most hazardous and deadly spiders in this video. We'll look at total venom toxicity as well as the risk to humans who don't have access to treatment or anti-venom. Number 10. The Brown Widow Spider The Brown Widow Spider belongs to the same family of spiders as the infamous Black Widow. It is easily recognized by its light brown colors with a yellow-orange hourglass pattern on its body. It goes by other names such as the geometric button spider, brown button spider, or gray widow. This spider is found in Africa, the United States, Europe, Asia, the Middle East, and South America. The brown widow spider measures around one inch in length and stays in warm and dry areas such as woodland, plant pots, and crawl spaces. The venom of the brown spider contains neurotoxins that damage the nerves of its prey. General pain and discomfort are the most common symptoms of a brown widow's bite. But more serious cases may include sweating, vomiting, muscle spasms, nausea, and acute pain. The brown widow does not inject a high enough quantity of venom to inflict serious harm to humans, hence severe bites are uncommon. Number 9. Yellow Sack Spider Yellow Sack Spiders are only found in the Americas. It prefers to stay in forests, but it can also find refuge in our homes. These spiders are a little species with a length of less than an inch. Because it is mostly a nocturnal species, this spider hunts at night. Unlike other spiders, they do not use a web to catch their prey. It has a yellow and beige coloration with some dark brown markings all over its body. Yellow sack spiders are very venomous and readily bites humans. According to researchers, this spider is thought to be responsible for more human bites than any other in the world. In contrast to the painless bite of the brown recluse spider, which we shall discuss later, yellow sack spider bite begins with considerable pain. As their venom contains cytotoxins, the injured area becomes extremely itchy. Rashes, boils, and welts with necrotic centers are all common side effects of this spider's bite. It can produce fever, nausea, and general pain in extreme cases. Symptoms normally subside within a week. Although spider bites seldom cause permanent injury or death in humans, the risk of anaphylactic shock is always a big concern and should be treated with extreme care. Number 8. Indian Ornamental Tarantula The Indian Ornamental Tarantula is a spider species that can be found in South Asia and southeastern India. The spider prefers to reside in holes or trees in the wild. It catches its prey by making large funnel webs. After it catches its prey in the web, it quickly subdues its prey after catching it in the web with a potent venom that will immobilize it long enough for it to devour. The Indian ornamental tarantula, like other tarantulas, is rather large, with some leg spans exceeding six inches. The vivid patterns on its legs help you identify it. The Indian ornamental tarantula is a highly venomous species that can bite you quite hard. The spider's large fangs can pierce the skin of its victims, resulting in severe puncture wounds that frequently lead to secondary infections, in addition to inflicting anguish and excessive swelling. Although no deaths have been documented, the Indian ornamental poses a risk of anaphylactic shock, which can be fatal if not treated quickly. Prompt medical attention is necessary to ease symptoms and reduce the chance of long-term complications. Number 7. 
The brown recluse. Brown recluse spiders are most common in the Midwest and south of the United States. The brown recluse is easily identified by its light brown coloration and black stripes that resemble a violin. Because of this, the brown recluse is also known as the fiddleback spider, brown fiddler, or violin spider. Brown recluse spiders are a small species measuring less than one inch in length. They stay in dry, dark areas and usually far away from humans. They are a nocturnal species which feeds on insects as well as other spiders. Although most brown recluse bites are small and produce no visible signs of envenomation, severe bites are capable of producing skin necrosis as well as a range of other dangerous symptoms. These include extreme pain, nausea, vomiting, fever, muscle pain, and rashes. In more severe bites, symptoms can burst red blood cells, organ damage, and failure intravascular coagulation of the blood. The brown recluse is not known to be aggressive, so serious bites are uncommon. Number six, the black widow. The black widow spider is extremely venomous. It's easy to spot because of its black color and hourglass shaped red marks on its body. The moniker black widow is well known and it comes from the fact that the female would frequently kill and consume the male after breeding in order to supply enough nourishment to get them through the birthing process. Black widows can be found on all continents of the world except Antarctica. They love dark environments such as holes in the ground or walls, crawl spaces, and wooded regions. Fun fact. Did you know that the silk that the Black Widow produces is pound for pound, stronger than steel? The Black Widow spider is a small spider with a powerful venom and contains an orotox in name latrotoxin. The venom is 15 times stronger than that of a rattlesnake. Because of their diminutive size, they can only inject modest amounts of venom into their victims. As a result, the bites are more unpleasant than lethal. The poison affects quickly, making you disoriented and causing abdominal cramping, muscle spasms, and discomfort. Symptoms can persist anywhere from a few days to a week. Nearly 2,200 individuals are attacked by black widows in the United States each year, with only a few requiring medical attention or hospitalization. Although anti-venoms exist to neutralize the spider's venom, they are more commonly used to treat discomfort than to save lives. Since 1983, no fatalities from black widow bites have been documented in the United States. This is owing to the rarity of black widow bites, in part. Black widow spiders are non-aggressive spiders that bite only when startled or in danger. Furthermore, the vast majority of bites are dry bites, meaning the victim was not injected with venom. Number 5. Sydney Funnel Web Spider The Sydney Funnel Web Spider is found throughout eastern Australia. It's a large spider with a dark coloring that ranges from blue to black. The spider is mostly terrestrial, preferring moist sand habitats and can be found under logs and other near by vegetation. The venom of the Sydney funnel web spider is extremely potent, and if left untreated, it can cause considerable harm to humans. It is usual for it to bite numerous times and to obtain a full dosage of venom. Symptoms appear almost immediately. The wound area becomes extremely painful due to the spider's enormous fangs. Breathing difficulties, muscle soreness, disorientation, and loss of consciousness are some of the other symptoms. These spider bites are so severe that you'll need to go to the hospital right away. Because anti-venom is readily available, no deaths from this spider have been reported since the early 1980s. Number 4. 
The Chinese Bird Spider The Chinese Bird Spider is in the Tarantula family. It can be found throughout China and Southeast Asia. The spider is brown and has a black line running down its back. The spider is fairly large, with legs that can reach up to 8 inches in length. The Chinese bird spider digs underground burrows with a tripwire formed of its web at the entrance to warn it of prey. It hunts at night and is a nocturnal animal. It eats insects and other small spiders primarily. The Chinese bird spider is thought to be one of the area's most venomous spiders. Although the effects on people have not been thoroughly established, a little bite is enough to kill rodents. The venom of the spider contains a complex neurotox in that blocks neurotransmitters in its victims. It has been shown in known cases of human bites that it causes nerve damage and renders the victim incapacitated within hours. It is recommended that you get medical help right away to avoid long-term harm or death. Number 3. The Redback Spider The Redback Spider can be found in Australia, Southeast Asia, and New Zealand. It's also known as the Australian Black Widow. It's commonly known that it seeks shelter in people's homes. It has a similar coloring to the Black Widow, with a black body and red hourglass markings, but its markings also incorporate orange. The redback spider is nocturnal, so it hunts at night. It has been observed devouring insects, spiders, and small vertebrates. The redback spider is known for using its web as a form of glue to immobilize its prey by biting the victim's head repeatedly, disabling the bug or animal in seconds. Despite its preference for insects, the redback spider has been known to prey on small lizards and even snakes. In Australia, the redback spider attacks more people than any other spider each year. Up to 10,000 attacks are reported due to spiders' preference for warm inside places. The redback spider's venom is incredibly strong, making it one of the few spiders capable of causing significant harm to humans. Its venom is made up of a complex mix of biological components, enzymes, and toxins, including the neurotoxin alpha adrotoxin. Redback spider bites causes severe pain sweating, convulsions, muscle spasms, vomiting, nausea, and swelling. More severe bites can cause skin infections and seizures. Treatment, which includes anti-venom, is the best line of defense against the redback spider and is often effective if prompt medical care is given right away. Number two, the Brazilian wandering spider. The Brazilian wandering spider is a highly venomous species that can only be found in tropical areas in South America. The spider, also known as the armed spider or banana spider, is enormous 5.1 to 5.9 inches and easily recognized thanks to its hairy look and dark liner stripes that run the length of its black and brown body. The Brazilian wandering spider gets its name because it does just that. It is known to roam freely along the jungle floor at nighttime. You can find them in banana trees, under logs and other dark, moist areas. You can find the Brazilian wandering spider in forests all over Costa Rica, Colombia, Venezuela, Ecuador, Peru, Bolivia, Argentina, Paraguay, Guyana, and obviously, Brazil. The Brazilian wandering spider is one of the few spiders that pose a serious threat to humans. The spider's venom contains neurotoxins that can cause breathing problems, muscle spasms as well as unbearable pain, swelling, and if untreated it can also cause paralysis and asphyxiation. The venom of the Brazilian wandering spider is toxic enough to kill a mouse in one bite. And there have been multiple reported cases of death in recent years, particularly among the young and elderly. The wandering spiders 
bites are rarely fatal due to its small mouth and inability to inject large amounts of venom into human skin. If you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing for weekly content. Number 1. Six-Eyed Sand Spider The Six-Eyed Sand Spider is a highly venomous spider found in the deserts of Southern Africa. The presence of tiny hairs on the spider's body, as well as its reddish-brown, sometimes yellow coloring, make it easy to identify. The Six-Eyed Spider's coloring, along with its natural capacity to trap sand particles against its body, allows it to blend in with its surroundings. The spider, which can hide itself in the sand, is known to ambush its prey, which includes scorpions, small beetles, and insects. The venomous six-eyed sand spider is extremely dangerous. According to recent research, the spider's venom is more dangerous than any other spider species on the planet. Human bites do happen on occasion, with serious consequences, despite the fact that they are shy and non-aggressive. Its venom contains a dangerous, necrotic agent as well as causing red blood cells to burst in its victims. Massive hemorrhage, extreme agony, nausea, abdominal ache, and severe skin necrosis are all common symptoms of a six-eyed spider bite. Only two human cases have been documented in the last century. Therefore, nothing is known about the spider's effect on humans. The sufferer in one case lost his arm, while the other died from tremendous blood loss. The venom of the six-eyed spider is fatal to rabbits in five hours, according to laboratory tests. Because no anti-venom is available, Bites from these spiders are thought to be exceedingly dangerous, equivalent to the effects of rattlesnake bites. For these reasons, the six-eyed sand spider is regarded as the world's deadliest and most venomous spider species.